So I came across this YouTube account and I was actually laughing so hard that I was tearing up. This is one of the most special men I have ever seen. If I can sum up the thesis of his channel in one word, it would be scammer, scam, the fake polyglot scammer, scammer, you are liar, scammer, fake scammer, fake polyglot scammer, polyglot scammer, fake liar, scammers, you're still a scammer and you still belong in jail. The channel Hunting Fake Polyglots is a very consistently uploading targeted harassment channel that focuses on revealing scammers in the YouTube polyglot sphere. Every upload is serious clickbait with a thumbnail of yellow text and stretched JPEGs. You'll notice that most of these thumbnails want you to know one thing. The internet is full of scammers. You know, at this point, I'm unironically obsessed with this person. I've never seen someone so hellbent on harassing anyone who speaks about languages on the internet. So when I first opened that channel, I needed to know more. Let's start from the beginning of this story. I went to the very first video on this channel and wanted to see how he presented himself in the beginning. In the first video public on the channel, he speaks four languages, English, Danish, Arabic, and French. Like most language learning focused channels, he talks about how he learned those languages. I can only understand what he's saying in the English and French portions because there are no subtitles. It's pretty standard stuff for language learning YouTubers. He's not a native speaker of English or French, but I think we should applaud anyone's efforts to try to learn a language. In fact, I think he should be proud his English is fantastic. It takes a lot of effort to send targeted hate on the internet. His French is pretty good too. I can tell he's a beginner, but I think we should celebrate every moment of language learning. I am analyzing this as a language learner and very proud of this guy. I'm affording him the compassion and support that he refuses to give others. This right now is a level of understanding that the owner of this channel refuses to give to other people, as we will see. The most I can gather about his identity is that he is a 39-year-old accountant from Egypt living in Denmark. He says his name is Sam. In English, he says that he is half Danish and half Egyptian. So he says, So Danish and Egyptian for me is like my native language. I have reason to believe he is being facetious, which will become clearer later. As we learn more about his worldview, we'll see it's very likely we're dealing with an unreliable narrator with this channel. Let's take a look at one of his more modern videos uploaded on April 3rd, 2021, which demonstrates his channel much better than the first video. This video is entitled Fake Polyglot Colangs Busted Exposed on Livestream. He can only speak English, that's one language. This video is a screen recording of Sam watching the live stream of polyglot YouTuber Colangs during the stream that is being re-uploaded with almost no fair use transformation. Colangs answers questions from viewers about strategies for language learning. You can see Sam repeatedly spam the attention of Colangs in the chat writing things like, you can't speak 10 or 13 languages, speak in every language now that you can speak for at least 10 or 20 minutes in each language. If you can't do this, then you are lying. Or later in the video, why are you not responding my messages? You are frauds and fake. You can't speak 10 or 13 languages. Prove it and speak now for at least 10 or 20 minutes in each language that you can speak. When Sam obviously gets ignored for demanding attention, he gets angrier. Cole Lang's okay no response to my comments. That's my biggest proof that you can't speak 10 or 13 languages. I'm sure you can only speak English. You can speak one language. Followed by seven crying laughing emojis. Don't give advices about language learning when you are a scammer and can't speak 10 or 13 languages by scammer. What I love is that people respond to Sam screaming like a banshee with kindness. Please don't spam, you can leave if you want. At least he is motivating people, not screaming like you. But yeah, hopefully you will have a nice day. Sam is also unaware of how YouTube lives work, where the streamer starts at the top and reads down, thinking that Cole just never read his harassment. After all his spams, Cole actually does respond to his harassment. Anyone can memorize a few sentences in each language and pretending to be able to speak 10 or 20 or 30 languages. I mean, yeah, yeah, you're, you're definitely correct. That's, that's a very real thing that can happen. Um, but at the same time, I don't really think 
that it's worth it to uh, pretend that you speak languages. That, that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, for me, it's all about sharing my passion and hopefully inspiring others to learn. And I know those guys being facetious guys, but uh, I, I, I really don't mind. Um, you, you'll always have people that disagree with you. Cole could not have responded to that in a better way. He responded with kindness and explained why Sam's suggestion makes no sense. There's nothing to gain from lying. There is a lot to gain by sharing your experiences. He gets a response from the target of his harassment, but Sam does not stop. Obviously, this repeated targeted harassment results in a ban from commenting. Never he used blocked Pimpler, me. So I can't really speak on it too he much. Blocked me because he um. cannot speak all this language. He goes to Cole's channel and says that when he speaks to people on Omegle, because the other person speaks, it proves he does not speak the language. And also on Omegle, he's not speaking all the time. On Omegle, he will speak, and the other guy or the other person will also speak to him. So maybe he just say a few words like that in every language. This will be a trend where Sam describes language learning verbatim as scamming. He cries that he is being silenced. That's why he blocked me from the chat. He gave me time, time out and blocked me because he cannot speak all this language. He's a liar and scammer. This is after a stream when he spam demands that the polyglot stop everything he's doing and speak 10 minutes without stopping. When he gets banned for that, he cries that he's being silenced. Meanwhile, he doesn't allow open discussion on his channel. It's almost like he claims censorship when he's in the wrong and gets appropriate consequences for his harassment. In another video, he targets Lindy Buetas, another polyglot YouTuber from South Africa. In another video of his, he attacks Lindy Buetas using all the same assumptions of the previous one. To prove you speak a language, you must not break eye contact with the camera for 20 minutes. And you keep looking to the side to read the text. You keep looking to the side to read the text. So reading something you wrote and putting it in your head and saying it aloud is not speaking a language. Again, he is describing the definition of language learning and calling it scamming. Reading from a script means you are reminding yourself of what you planned. Here is my script of what I'm saying right now. Does this man think that actors just go onto the set of a movie and just wing it? They just do whatever feels right because they internalize the character so well? He deadass expects YouTubers to go into their videos raw, no plan, no forethought, just camera on go. As always, for Sam, the definition of language learning is scamming. He just repeat after the song that he's listening to. The song is playing and then he repeat after the song. What kind of bullshit nonsense is this? Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? To be honest, it makes sense because he uploads videos without the tiniest bit of video editing. This is all part of his view of the world. Editing? is evil. He is able to upload multiple videos per day because of his policy of zero effort to edit. He's looking here to the left side. Like he's looking here to the left side. Look now the background behind them. Look, do you see another background? Sam does not only put zero effort into editing, he also puts zero effort into research onto the target of his harassment. For example, he cannot pronounce Lindy's last name. Lindy Boats. Lindy Boats or Lindy Botes or how you say your name or how you pronounce it. This guy literally cannot take five seconds to do the most basic research. Don't you just love when someone speaks so confidently about a topic that takes 30 seconds to research? Sam knows how easy it is to find this information. He's doing it for another cheap dig at Lindy for no reason. Watch how long it takes to research the pronunciation of her name. Wow! I'm from Dutch, and the way you pronounce my surname is Buetis. And he loves to claim all the videos where polyglots have conversations are staged, and they have a secret script hidden, or they use paid actors to play along. There's something here on the left side behind them. 
There's something here on the left side. Not sure how Lindy Buetes got a Hungarian television show to play along with her charade. <laughs> Sam is creating the most elaborate explanations for the world around him. You know the saying that's like, if you hear hoofbeats, think horses and not zebras? Sam thinks if he hears hoofbeats, George Washington just came back to life and is walking on his hands with hand shoes in the shape of hooves. This is the mental gymnastics necessary to live in this guy's world. I also love him calling into question where people come from. Why are you pretending to be from South Africa? Even I know the answer, but why are you pretending to be so from South Africa, Lindy Boats? It's so people will think that you can already speak this Africans and and Dutch, and then you will add also English and some other language, right? Right? Sam never leaves the opportunity to claim that the targets of his harassment are hiding that they're really from the US. This would work as a point if Lindy claimed she worked hard to learn English, but she has always claimed that English and Afrikaans are her two native languages. So I know for me, um, Afrikaans is my home language, but don't ask me to count in any other language than English. I took school in English. And in the case of Benny Lewis, one of Sam's favorite targets, with his recurring segment called Fake Polyglot Scammer Benny Lewis, that has 27 videos at the time of me recording this. No, I say many of the polyglot YouTubers, I think they're American, but I don't know with Benny Lewis, maybe he is from Ireland, but you never know with those polyglot YouTubers, they always lie about where they're from. Maybe he is American also, but makes some accent, so he, he sounds like he has this Irish accent or something like that. Benny is from Ireland, which is a country that natively speaks English. Calling into question where someone is from based on no fact, just this fan fiction in his mind does nothing for the narrative he's constructing. It's just a way for him to make you disbelieve your lying eyes. To create the image Sam wants, he has to make up elaborate theories about how these people are sociopathic liars that just make up irrelevant facts for the fun of it. I would like to believe he is trolling and pretending to not know that those countries have native English speakers. However, as I went deeper down the rabbit hole, I realized just how much Sam truly knows how things work. Sam not only creates elaborate theories about how YouTubers who talk about languages are faking every part of their identity, but he also tries to show his ignorance when talking about language learning apps. Whether it's flashcards, platforms to connect with teachers, Sam thinks they're all scammers too. He downloaded Anki, input French and English into the card format thinking this was a search option. He then gets angry when he realizes that Anki is used to make your flashcards. I need to create my own fucking cards. I need to add my own cards. Shit, crap, man. Okay, don't download this kind of shit again. In another video, he complains that Teach Yourself, the book publisher, hosts content by Benny Lewis and Ollie Richards. The book publisher, Teach Yourself, is supporting scammers. They're supporting scammers because they publish ebooks of scammers even they know that they are scammers and liars. He is angry that they created content, something useful for customers, and sold it. Let's add that to the list of things that make you a scammer. It's funny he mentions Ollie Richards' short story series because I have a copy of the German one. And I can say it has been nothing but help for me. The content is easy enough for intermediate learners to understand, but it has good vocab breakdowns and comprehension questions every chapter. Apparently this is a scam. He also has a problem with italki, the platform for language learners to find language teachers. It also has a lot of other good features like having a forum where people can ask questions and get corrections for their writing. Sam, however, takes issue that they featured Richard Simcott, a YouTube polyglot from the UK. Because Italki made a video with Richard Simcott, apparently he is the owner of the company. And I don't know if he also one of the owners or something, like if he also 
have some part of ownership in italki or something but he's working with italki this richard simcott and yes richard simcott is the owner of italki because he appeared in a video sponsored by italki no other explanation can work they don't want to product their service to his audience who is likely to want their service. Later, he mentions the problem with how italki gets teachers. So those people on italki who are italki teachers, you don't know how good they are or how qualified they are to teach you. This is the closest thing to a point he ever brings up. Again, he's wrong, but let's unpack this. Because italki allows teachers of any language to create a teacher profile, it allows unqualified teachers to teach. However, what he is leaving out on purpose is that teachers can upload their teaching certificates in order to attract students who want someone with training. In reality, a lot of students on italki prefer the more informal teaching style of untrained teachers. This is only anecdotes I'm talking about here, but students don't always want a teacher who prepares lessons with a textbook. Usually they want a conversation led by a native speaker who can point out when someone makes a mistake. In reality, italki is great to find exactly what you need because it is just a platform to connect students and teachers. In my case, I was interested in finding a German tutor who also speaks Turkish. A few months ago, I found that on italki. In other people's cases, some people actually want teachers who are not native speakers of their target language because they can explain things from the perspective of a learner. For Sam, there is only one way to teach a language online and if you offer any other service, that is a scam. Add that to the list of scams. Like all things, Sam says you cannot talk about languages online unless you are professional. You need to have certification to prove you can talk about a topic. That's what I thought until he accused Korean polyglot YouTuber Mai Langs of faking her certificates from taking official language tests. She shows some certificate here also, a shiny certificate. But I don't know if it's real or if she just makes some editing program to edit it. Stop being a fucking cunt. So actually, you can't prove anything to Sam. You cannot prove it in a video because you can edit it. You cannot prove it in a live stream because you can have a script hidden behind the camera. You cannot prove your skills with an official language test because the document could be doctored. You cannot prove you have done anything. Sam's one goal is that you, the language learner, shut up. I watched more and more falling deeper and deeper down this rabbit hole and realized I have definitely interacted with this man before on Instagram and on YouTube. Somewhere at the end of August, I remember getting a YouTube comment that was a lot like Sam's harassment. The comment just said, fake polyglot. And it was posted within an hour of the video going live. Of course, I deleted it by reflex so I don't have the screenshot. However, the same day I got the same format of this comment on Instagram. It was just the words fake polyglot. The ironic thing is that this was on a post where I wrote down all the words of the game I was playing with the clips from the moments where I got the vocab words. If that isn't the definition of language learning, nothing is. But of course, for Sam, Doing language learning counts as scamming. The more you watch Sam's content, the more you realize he repeats himself many times. This isn't an accident. He repeats himself so much because he wants you to notice the videos are not edited at all. In his mind, an unedited video is the only way to prove you speak a language. He makes this abundantly clear in his videos. This book publisher, the book publisher, teach yourself. The book publisher, teach yourself. Why are you scamming people? Why are you fooling people? This big, big, big clown joke called Richard Simcott. This big joke, this big clown. Why do you make fake edited videos? Why do you make fake edited videos reading from a script? It's a big scam. This italki is a big scam. For some reason, creating a watchable video is less important than stroking his own ego. It's actually quite the sad story. Sam's channel tells the story of someone who wanted to be part 
of the online language community and went through all the motions to share language content, but when it didn't blow up, as expected, he became bitter, followed big names in the community, and harasses them with sock accounts. And he doesn't watch the videos of his targets, only responds to their thumbnail or title. Then, when they block his constant spam, he can claim it's them hiding the truth. It's really sad, but I think he deserves our compassion and understanding. I have no idea what could have gone wrong in his personal life, but clearly something went wrong in his YouTube career. I can get some laughs from these videos, but I think it's best to take some lessons from this experience. Are online language learners deceptive? Yes, 100%. Every one of us, including me, is only giving you what is good for YouTube, what's good for the algorithm, what's good for clicks. Because of that, some things are inaccurate to reality. Is it the same inaccuracy that he says where everyone's a paid actor? No, not even close. Sam wants people to believe that unless you stare directly into the camera for 20 minutes and prove your eyeballs are not moving, it's completely fake. He would essentially love a world where it is impossible to talk about languages online unless you are near fluent and don't break eye contact with the camera. Learners should not share their experiences online. That scamming. In reality, the real deception of YouTube comes with the limited time. I could include every mistake I make, but that would be hard to watch. But that doesn't develop. But that doesn't develop. Talk about my favorite words. I want to talk about my favorite. Does it have to be five hundred? Does it have to be? Do they? Um, do my mistakes prove I don't speak English? When someone makes an Instagram post or a YouTube video, they want to share the part that's interesting. There is probably 30 minutes of footage that gets edited down to 3 minutes. Are movies scamming by not including all the bad takes and presenting the movie in the order it was filmed? That's not to say there's nothing to keep in mind while looking through language content. It's so important that we keep this in mind when we create expectations for ourselves. The image you see online definitely is not the full story. Everyone's language path is unique. You should not ever compare yourself to others. Never think you're slow compared to others. On the other hand, if you understand things faster than others, it shouldn't be a reason to think you are better than others. That other person on the internet could have more time for languages. The video does not include every uh, Mm, that's not exclusive to language YouTubers. Every genre has cuts because YouTubers are not entertainers who have training in public speaking. We are normies with a camera. We stutter. The way that affects language learning is you see all the good that someone posts and none of the bad. I try to avoid grand claims about how talented I am. I really even hate using the wording I speak this language, I speak French, I speak German, because it puts an unnecessary expectation on me and unnecessary self-predictions for the viewer. Of course, I put something a little spicier in the YouTube title because that works best for the algorithm. However, I try to present things that are obviously true. I'll post the list of German words I learned today. Is that not language learning? I'll write about an interesting grammar point I learned today. Is that not language learning? I try to keep things personal because I don't want to create the image that I am a genius. I am literally the same as all of my audience. Basing a reputation on how good you speak a language is a bad idea. Because if someone questions it, they question your whole YouTube channel. Personally, I try to keep my reputation about results. Did I do that thing? Here. Did I not do the thing? Here is me admitting that. What can we say about Sam? Send him compassion and support because clearly the man is very bothered. Send your online polyglots compassion and support because they really just want to encourage a hobby that only benefits the world. To have a little fun, I'm going to make a prediction about how Sam will react to this video. I've made a little bingo card. Let's see if it happens in his inevitable video about me. I am expecting a thumbnail with a stretched picture, more yellow text than is possible to read, saying the word scammer at least five times within 20 seconds, circular reasoning, claiming he's being silenced when he is blocked for spamming, questioning the target's birthplace, age, or really unnecessary details, self-aggrandizement, describing language learning verbatim, and claiming 
that's faking it. Let's see if he's as predictable as he presented himself to be. This took a lot of effort to make. I had to sit through a lot of really awful content. You can follow me on social media. There are links to all of that in the description. I also have a website where I talk about language related things at studywithalex.com. Leave some comments about how I'm a fake polyglot scammer clown who needs to go to jail so that I know you watch the video. I'll see you for another video next week. Don't ever stop language learning for anyone and don't feel ashamed to share your experience online. Bye-bye.